Uh, hello, my name is Leo Yaron. I'm from uh, Delaval International, based in Tumba, Sweden. Uh, yeah, there is no f one farm size that fits all. You know, you need to adjust to the local conditions and copy paste will not work. Like in India, if you have 30 cows and buffalo, you're already big. However, if you go to the US, North America, Mexico, of course, numbers are much larger in terms of cows, and then you need to plan the logistics around it. And to make the business sustainable, you need to really adjust to the local climate, conditions, securing all the things that's running in the farm on a daily basis and never forget the cow itself because everything will come out of the cow will pay back your investment so it is a complicated task with multifactorial business that you need to understand the feeding the milking the animal welfare part by combining all those things into one platform what we are trying to do everywhere around the world is to combine all the knowledge scientifically proven knowledge and our experience in the group to bring to the customer the best or maybe the optimal solution to he or she needs. And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, that's an excellent question because uh, one main issue is the environment, of course, uh, manure handling, effluent management, and we are stepping deep into that because as we know, cow is producing a lot of manure, about 50 liters per day, and not always the same amount of milk, unfortunately, maybe less. So by planning and design the right setup of your operation, uh, dealing with that, that's number one. Number two, I will say it will be expansion. We know we will have fewer farmers in the future, but larger units. It's happened in Europe. Now with the end of the quota, it happens all around the world. Less farmers, but bigger units. And then you need to plan for expansion. And, uh, if you don't do it in phase A, when you reach to that phase, sometimes we see a lot of challenges of how you grow up your business in a sustainable way. And we've seen it. And last but not least, I would say that the resources, water and feed for cows, because of competition with the growing population and competition over land, that also will be a challenge uh, that we will face. And we already see it in China, for instance, where large farms are lacking water, drinking water for cows, and so on and so forth. So uh, those things, those, on my book at least, the top three challenges. Yeah, uh, robotics, that's not only for small anymore. And the main driver for that, it's lack of people that are willing to milk cows 24-7 or 22-7. And we already have in Russia, in New Zealand, a couple of mega farms with 24, 33 VMSs, robots working on one site with great success. But also here, the key for success is plan it correctly and stick to the rules. Every system has different rules and we have a lot of experience with that and we need to stick to those rules in the planning and design and also implementation phase to secure the cow traffic and so on and so forth. However, I'm saying that, we still need the human being factor behind the robots to secure that we analyze the information that is coming from the software and transfer it into action. So it's not that we need, we need less people, but we still need the farm manager and the human being to be there to run the project, to run the farm on a daily basis and to take the right decision. Yeah, absolutely. We know that the time budget of a cow in the 24 hours daily, we need to secure that she is resting enough and eating and drinking enough. And by using our robotic systems, we can monitor the cow time budget. We can monitor her milk production, her health. Uh, just behind me, we have a new, a new smart solution, which is body condition score camera, monitoring her body condition score, reflecting her ration, is she in a positive energy balance or negative energy balance according to days in milk? And what is nice in our system that we have full integrated solution. So it's one platform, one software, it's the Delpro in this case, running all your farm operation. It's the milking, the feeding, and the animal health. So you have one stop shop that can support you on the service, but also on the information and knowledge. And in that, solution we can secure that if you again analyze the reports in the right way 
actually you can upgrade your performance dramatically, I would say. Laval, we are the global leader right now in, in the market and we are tending to stay that for, for the future that we can see. We pay a lot of attention to R&I and R&D, research and innovation. A lot of our budget goes to that direction, to come to the market with the right solution, to the right customer. And as I said, in India it's a totally different solution than in the US, but we have solution to any farm, any farmer. And on top of that, the services that we have, not only the machinery fixing part, but also the knowledge part, and knowledge transfer that we are sharing with our customers globally and we have a global experience doing that and adjusting it to the local needs. I think we are very unique in that and we are really trying to make a win-win situation between the customer and us and so far so, far, so good. Yeah, we have a few new initiatives. One of them is the body condition score camera, as I said before. We have the teeth spray robot just uh, here at the booth, also showing that we can eliminate the human factor out of a very important part of the work. It's the pre-dipping and post-dipping in the making process. Uh, right now it's on rotaries only, but uh, we are working, of course, on uh, future development of that. And cost effectiveness on that is really, really something that is uh, proven. Uh, we have a uh, on top of all the things, we have the herd navigator system, which is, is a true reflection of what is going on in the cow's body from a metabolite perspective. We check ketone bodies for energy balance, we check progesterone for reproduction, and so on and so forth. So we really came with, in the last few years, with really top, top innovative solution that fits exactly the critical points in the cow's life, trying to secure her performance.